Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll have something different. We'll be comparing uh, five, well, four different models you can buy on board any of these airlines. So before starting, I wanted to say that this Volaris one, which is a Mexican low cost airline, I don't have the model right now. It's in my office and since the things are going wild, I cannot go to it. So this one is disqualified, but don't worry, it wasn't a really good quality, so it would not meet like the top three. So let's go into the video. Now we'll begin with this European carrier, which is Air France. Now this one, I got it on board while I was on my way to Paris. So it was really nice buying an A380 model right on an A380. And I know it's so sad that they will be retiring them, the big birds, but it's something that we need to live on with. It's very sad. But we'll have first the standard livery, which is this one. As you can see, it's quite big. Not as big as an A380 with a scale 1 to 200. This one is 1 to 250. So here it is. Now let's go to the details. We'll not have any sort of shots, so we don't make a very long video, but this is it. You can see the European Union, the registration number. Doesn't have any sort of landing gear. This is the producer. Really nice that it's actually a French producer, so they consume locally. And yeah, that's it for this model. Nothing spectacular, but nothing too bad. So let's go with the special edition one. So now we have the 80 year livery for Air France. This one was also on, well announced on my flight, but it wasn't available. And I did the impossible to get it when I was in France because it was a limited edition and yeah I did find it in, right at the Air France Museum I'll try to leave down on the description the address so you can take a look down over there this is the registration number this is the special livery very beautiful now quality wise for these two models we've seen so far it's Again, nothing great, but nothing bad. You can see some actual paint mistakes, but it does hold well. I think I've been with this model for about five years, five, four years. So yeah, it's nothing new. And you can see it's pretty nice. It will do a great job standing at any desk again here's the producer and I also went back through Lufthansa but I didn't buy the Lufthansa model because it was 1 to 500 scale and I don't collect that style of models but anyways here's the boxes this one is again in 1 to 250 I don't collect this as well but I I think it's better to match this one 1 to 200 and the models 1 to 500 with the 400s. This one, the special one. You can see. Edition Speciale. <laughs> That's my attempt of French. I, I don't know how to speak a bit of French, but nothing really great. Now, let's go with the big contesters today. We have Indigo Airlines. I got this model in India, so I don't have the box for this one, sadly. I don't, I don't like to get rid of my boxes, but sometimes you need to do that sacrifice. So yeah, here it is. The gear is actually fully rotating, really nice. The paint job is very well done. So this one is a full contestant for the first place. You can see 
every detail is on point. It's made out of plastic as well as the other two, but nothing bad. Really well done. This A320 is the stand, nothing here. And over here is the manufacturer, if you're wondering. Lupa. And that's it. So let's go with our last model we'll be reviewing today. And I'll give you my humble opinion on which is the best model you can buy over these airlines. Again, Lufthansa was disqualified because <laughs> I don't like that scale. And well, let's go to the last model. Now here is a big one, A330-300 from AirAsia X. Here's the box, really nice. Here are some specs actually, you can see. Yeah. No painting or glue required, display stand, accurate scale, highly detailed. Solid fuselage. So let's see how it's actually done. As you can see, I this one I got it on my flight down when I was, if I'm correct, from yeah. I took this aircraft from Thailand to Seoul, Incheon. So this one is it. You can see the stand. If I'm correct, this is actually sky marks. It doesn't say, but it really feels like it. Here's a stand. Here's a model. Well done, the, the gear. It's actually made out of rubber, it does move. Here's the engines, tail, registration number. Yeah, this one is again the Thailand one, as you can see. Now everyone can fly extra long. Which is true, for the price you pay for this type of flight, something you will get a very regional style down here at America. So it was a great deal. Nose. So, I think we have a clear winner here, but you can post a comment. I feel this one is way better than the um, Indigo, but still Indigo was better than the Air France. Now, any of these will be great at any desk, but if you are like me that really like having the best quality out of all, I think if you have the chance, you can get this one when you're flying on AirAsia or at Indigo. And yeah, that's it from me. Hope you liked it. If so, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.